Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be asking the question is there any difference in shot quality between the different Gadget Classic models? Just a quick bit of history about these machines. The Gadget Classic was released back in 1991 and remained the same until Philips bought Gadget. So machines made up until about 2009 have the sticker on the back made in Milan. And these are what are referred to as the original classic. This is my original classic and this one was made in 2003. They started to change from around 2009 and probably the most controversial version is what's known as the classic 2015 which is this one. It doesn't have the three-way solenoid valve, it has more modern push buttons instead of the rocker switches. There are various other differences, but I'm not wanting this to turn into a technical comparison. I literally just want to find out if there's any difference in taste. And then recently they released the new Gaja Classic Pro, which is much closer to the original Classic. The three-way solenoid valve is back, and this version comes with a Pro Steam one, so you don't have to mod it as many people would do with the original version. As you can see, I modded my original classic with the Ranchilio Silvia Steam one, but you don't have to do that with the new Pro. So we have the original classic, the 2015 and the Pro. And the question is, is there any difference in shot quality? The main reason I want to know this, by the way, is that when you're buying used classics, usually you'll find that the original classics hold the value much more than the 2015 version, especially at auction. So I want to know if used 2015 classics, which come up regularly on eBay, are a bargain in terms of getting the same shot quality for a lower price. And by the way, I do realize that the shot quality isn't the only consideration. Durability is another one of course but the main complaint I hear about the 2015 is down to the shot button sticking because of the newer push buttons and not the traditional rocker switch and if this is really the only issue in the long term I think there's potentially a fairly easy solution to that but I'll do another video on that soon. So I've got each machine dialed in I'm going to pull a shot with all three the bottom of each cup is marked and Ethan is going to mix them up so I don't know which is which and then I'm going to taste them and tell you any differences I notice. I'm going to have to close my eyes while I did the blind taste test otherwise I'll know that one's from 2015. <laughs> right. okay. So I'm putting a blindfold on because the one from the 2015 was much lighter in the crema so I'll be able to tell which one it which one it was. Right, I'm passing you the first one. Got it? Yeah. Okay. And the second one. Okay. And um, finally, the third one. Got it? Mm hmm Right, if you had to make a guess. So the only real difference This one's cooler than the other two, noticeably. I'd say a couple of degrees cooler, but they all taste very similar. Yeah, I can't actually detect. I'll take this off now. Ooh, bright light. <laughs> I can't actually detect any difference in the taste. The only thing was one of them. Close my eyes again. This one is colder. That's the only thing I can say. These two, they all taste very similar. This one is slightly colder, so I'm going to pour this one out and see which one it was. 
Yeah. So that's 2015. And if you want to zoom in on there. That's 2051. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. If you were wondering if there's a difference in shot quality between the original Classic, the Classic 2015 and the new Ekeja Classic Pro, as I was, now you know. They were all far too similar for me to tell apart in terms of taste, but the shot pulled on the 2015 was cooler and the crema was pale compared to the other two. In the next video, I'm gonna do some experiments and blind taste tests with the classics, both without the nine bar mod and with the nine bar mod, and I'm gonna demonstrate modding them to nine bars. And in the third video in this series, I'm gonna be fitting PIDs, at least to the original and the pro and doing some experimenting with that to see if fitting a PID is worth it. And then the modded Classic Pro and 2015 will be given away to Patreon supporters. So thank you very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, why not click here to watch another one? And don't forget to click the like button. Cheers. And to become an official Coffee Botherer, you need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe to our channel and to become an accredited Coffee Botherer, also known as Patreon supporter. Just go to patreon.com forward slash coffee blog Kev. Tatty bye. <laughs>